Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we will discuss the annoying Google habit of changing YouTube's channels, yet again, sigh. Mr. Gingrich, what do you think about it? Well, here again we have proof that the Obama administration just isn't stepping up to the plate and demanding freedom for all. Quite true, Mr. Gingrich. We've been discussing a bipartisan bill to free YouTube from its programmers. I tried to address the problem with my health plan. It is injurious to the mental health of Americans and all citizens worldwide to constantly have to guess how to use YouTube. YouTube will now be even worse than Windows 8. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I can't think of anything worse than Windows 8. Imagine, all that horrid white space. Can't see how to make changes, can't put in your own background, can't see your subscriptions. We can't even sort the videos by title, though YouTube allowed a viewer to sort a channel's videos by title, back in December 2008. Yes, hospital white. Sterile, depressing. So much glare, your eyes will become sick, more quickly. Like being in prison, or in an operating room. And who has the time to make art which is 2500 by 1400 pixels? That is the only color on the page. So, gentlemen, do you think President Obama's veto can be overridden? Seems to me this is one bill that both parties in both houses can agree on. Yes, we are trying to canvass for an overwrite before the veto even occurs, so that the president won't have to veto. The programmers need that bill passed. Google's management will fire programmers if they don't change the interface to annoy Google customers every three months. Really? That is bad management. As a businessman I can tell you that the dumbest thing you can do is to move the cheese. That is why no business will adopt Windows 8. Yes. America needs stability. Business needs stability. Windows 8 single-handedly would cause inflation worldwide, if business were as dumb as Microsoft. Or, as bad as Google. Do you guys even know how to use Gmail, anymore? Oh, please, let's not talk about the other changes Google makes. The company cannot be trusted, anymore. As soon as you figure out how to use a Google product, they change it. I don't even go to Gmail or other Google applications, anymore. I just stay on Windows XP and use Outlook Express. Outlook Express, Newt? You too. We couldn't run Congress without it. Ah, but you can't use Outlook Express in Windows 7 or Windows 8. They took it away. Just as the bad management of Google read YouTube by demanding change. Well, I'll canvas the businesses to boycott YouTube so that it won't get advertisers. That might help. Oh. That sounds like a great idea. If YouTube partners and advertisers get no revenue, they will stop using YouTube, and maybe go somewhere else. Why don't we all go to Amazon? Put our videos there, and leave YouTube? John, would you talk with the other members of Congress about that? Great idea, Newt. Maybe even President Obama will be convinced to have the White House leave YouTube if we all do it. That would be even more effective than passing a bill. Oh, you must pass the bill. It might be the only bipartisan unanimity we'll have until 2016. Agreed. I'll talk with my fellow talk show hosts about moving their YouTube accounts to Amazon, too. If enough people stop buying products advertised on YouTube to protest the channel design change, and if enough of us move, well, maybe Google will awaken. So, we will canvass Congress, and businesses will leave YouTube and go to Amazon to host their videos. Agreed. So now you have it, ladies and gentlemen, we can do something about the ugly and deaf Google management practice of forcing changes on its customers.